There's a lot for families to see and do at the 26th annual Salute to Veterans Air Show at Columbia Regional Airport. Rodney Richardson and his family drove all the way down from Iowa to see the planes, and a little rain wasn't going to stop that. It's definitely worth coming out to take a look at all the vintage aircraft and to meet some of the people that served our country. Richardson's family wasn't alone. Thousands of people came out to see this year's selection of vintage planes, including an AT-6 Texan, a Supermarine, and a P-51. Many planes at the show are rare, and only a few are left in the world. Dave Hansen and his son have spent years restoring a PV-2 harpoon. He tells me he's happy to share his treasure. A piece of history that a lot of people are missing. Uh, the, the young kids don't, uh, I mean, they're not taught that. And in, in some cases, when you get uh, a veteran that uh, they will climb in and their hands go to the same spots that they used to when they were 20. They're reliving their, you know, their youth. Unfortunately, the rain did get to a few of the events. The Trojan Flyers had to be canceled along with the B-13 Valiant flight. Although some of the events ended up being canceled, the main attractions like the Snowbirds and the Parachute Team made it into the air. I caught up with one Snowbird pilot who said rain or shine, it's completely worth it. The feeling of flight is uh, is something that's hard to describe, but it uh, is like like most pilots would say is a general feeling of uh, freedom to be looking down at the clouds instead of up at them and watching everything go by at uh, speeds you're not used to. Chris Shepard, KRCG 13, Columbia Regional Airport.